I'm gonna go out and do some treasure hunting, dumpster dive style. Hope it gets better than this. Oh, that's not a bad find, though. Hmm. What's up, man? Better not take that bicycle. Like I said a few videos back, it's hard town with them bicycles sometimes. A little kid could have just set it there, you know, but. That thing had flat tires and stuff. But... I generally will leave that stuff alone. Unless it's total trash, you know. The chain's just all seized up with rust and stuff, you know. That's all vinyl shades. Some doorknob action. Sorry, yeah, man, I'm making a video. Oh, I'm good at dumpster diving. No. Dumpster diving is dangerous. I dropped some keys somewhere. I don't know where they went. Nope. They must have went under the dumpster. What do you think? <laughs> there they are. Hey, you need a Careful up there, man. That's dirty in here. It's dirty and dangerous. Stinky. <laughs> hey, get off there, boy. Get your gang. 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 Wait, sir, before you leave, it's yeah. an honor. Yo, I'm 6'9! I'm 6'9! That's cool, man. Hey, keep that's, that. gonna, that's gonna poke my eyeball out. No, Ow! Ow! Keep that line, Ow. right? Ah! 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 Let's go! size those tires in there sheesh oh, look at this tv it's a whopper this is a, the land of giants let's see oh, where's that cord at? A little step ladder in there that's kind of busted up these old step ladders these wood ones are good if you've got cats scratch it sit on it and play on it Well, not exactly starting off with a jackpot. Hopefully I can at least pay for the laundry. So I got some new hoverboards. They're empty, I can just no, they're empty. By the way, it moved a little. But, uh, just chain link fence in there. 
If I really wanted to, I could snap that on top of my toads, but I'm not going to. If I had to or needed to or wanted to, I could. But we're hunting bigger game, folks. Oh. Farkle? Right after I say we're hunting bigger game, I found myself a shiny little Farkle. Old school CRT TV. Flat screen TV. That CRT TV is actually busted up enough that it wouldn't be too hard to get the copper yoke and stuff out of it, but I'm not going to do that. Take up my time in this video and I want to show you as much as possible. Look at it. Far collection. Plus, if I scrapped out every one of those I found on a video, people would just get bored with it and stop watching. I have a video down in the description linked up if you want to see how to scrap out those old CRT TVs properly. better for those of you new that's my air pump I got a leaky tire I'm just wearing the tire out so I'm carrying an air pump here for a little while there's actually some textbooks in here I didn't notice what are you dealing with here that doesn't look like much but these things can be worth a small fortune study guide for like a medical office administrative procedures type deal as goofy as these look that could be a jackpot right there it just depends on if they're still being used the next Next time class is open. And even then, they're still gonna have some value on Amazon lots of times, even if they're not in use, like these study guides and stuff. Study guides for taking tests and whatnot. If that's what these happen to be. That one doesn't say study guide, the other one, dude. Anyways, this may have just made my video. We shall find out. See the comment. Sometimes people are like, they would use their smartphone to figure out what this stuff is right away. But I just want to get in and out of here as quick as possible. I'm not going to stand around taking time looking in the phone that's actually quicker the way i do it without a phone because i'm gonna take these home i already have a good idea of what's valuable and what's not and i'll take these home and find out for sure while i'm uploading this footage to my video editor which takes a long time so this gives me something to do while the video is uploading so actually I'm saving time by not using a smartphone out here. Farkle. It's not very often where I find a stack of books and every single one of them sellable on Amazon. But that is the case here. This is the least expensive one. $15. It happens to be the biggest one too. I'm pricing these to sell. This is the bottom rung prices for the most part on Amazon. Hi, I know, because I started, I started talking to the camera, so you gotta come. Hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. Hello. I was sleeping. Fifty dollars on this one. Thirty dollars on that one. Fifty dollars on this one. Twenty on that one. 
55 on that one. Happens to be the smallest one. 20 on that one. $60 on that one. 60 is the top one. 50 on that one. So, uh, that's a jackpot. $350. Like I said, that's bottom rung prices on Amazon. These books were very valuable. Since I don't have money invested in the books I sell on Amazon, I just price them to sell. And uh, I wanna I want to move them as quick as possible before they get outdated, you know, textbooks. Wouldn't be a day without a Swiffer. Dumpster to smash this on. So let's see. Oy. I guess I'll just do that for now. I might be able to get this done before the sun goes down. I mean, I, I can see fine out here. That's the GoPro. It starts to fade a little bit when it's not good light. I mean, it does really good in low light. That's just not quite as good as the human eye yet. Hope you enjoyed the show. Hopefully the clip I added in, telling the value of those, was video worthy. Hope you enjoyed the show. And as always, thanks for watching.